Hey guys, I've always been curious about building a hair jig from scratch. And I found these eyeballs and thought I'd give it a try. I was organizing the fishing closet and I found this minnow hook that we use in the spring during the spawn. And it was really thick and nice, so I thought I'd give it a go. I started with a drop of Sally Hansen's Instant Top Coat Glue, of course. And today I'm using a silver metallic embroidery thread. We picked these eyes up at Bass Pro and they are MFC brand. Color yellow, uh, gold with sparkle. And I think they were five bucks. Size medium. You want to start by wrapping your thread just the way you would any other hair jig. And then put your eye on top and you want to go in a figure eight pattern around and around. I filled the nose a little bit and then tried to fill in the head a little bit more but opposite and opposite over and under over and under in an infinity symbol type situation or figure eight. And I just kept rolling until I built it up as best I could or what I thought was nice and stable on the J hook. Once you get them attached, it's really just like tying any other hair jig. You want to start with your tail. Here I'm using a couple pieces of white neck hackle for the tail. I was wanting to give it a, a silver shad type look. When you first attach anything, you'll want to give it like three wraps and pull it really tight. And that'll kind of set the situation. And then you can fill in and going up and down and back with your thread. This is a medium silver metallic chenille. And once again, one, two, three, yeah, well anyways, you just want to keep wrapping it tight. <laughs> I felt the need to build up the body a little bit because the eyeballs were so big, but um, wrapping Close concentric spirals will give you your best look with the chenille. I did wrap it a few more times in the head just to try to fill in that space of Big Eyeball's little body. When using your whipping tool, you want to pick up with the hook and place the thread behind your notch and give it three turns of the whip and release. I wasn't sure about this situation so I did tie twice. Um, usually for these videos, the shorts, I just tie once but um, if I tie for somebody else, I usually tie it twice don't really have these hooks getting torn up. They usually last for several years. I usually end up losing them by a fish taking them before they tear up. But there it is. I thought it turned out great. It was really exciting to see it come together. Thanks for stopping by and the possibilities are endless with this. Y'all have a good day.